Hello, welcome to the Empire Studio channel where we are just starting a series on handwriting. So if you're looking, if, if improving your handwriting is something you're interested in, then stay tuned. Um, just a disclaimer, I'm not an expert. These, this is just a method that has worked for me and I'm hoping to share it with you guys and I hope that it helps you. Um, step one is choosing a handwriting that you like and you want to use. You can use your own. That would be most ideal because it's what, come nat what comes naturally to you. So if your handwriting is just a little off and you're comfortable with using it and it's just that it's messy when you're trying to write a whole um, paper or you know and you just want to clean it up a bit and get it to look you know better but you don't want to change it completely then let's go with your handwriting okay and if you do want to change it completely and you're not comfortable with your handwriting at all then you can go on to the computer and pick out a font that you like and um, you know choose one that you're comfortable writing test out a few all right so that's your first your first mission to choose a hand or whatever you want to call it a hand a font a writing style once you've got that the next thing you need to do is create a reference guide or a key where you've got your all your letters written out and you're going to write them out a couple different ways now at first this might seem a little complicated to write out the alphabet a different way you know different from a b c d but once you're referring to this guide that you make, you'll see that it makes sense to group your letters in a different way. And you'll see why as we go along. And you won't have to do this alone. I'm going to create a, a series of, of episodes where I'll go through these steps with you. Okay, so that's step number two create a guide in your guide is going to consist of a couple different things I'll use something else Okay, <laughs> now I know we don't use anything but fountain pens over here for the most part, but I do buy other pens sometimes and I've got to tell you, I wish that these, this ink came in a fountain pen ink. It is, these inks are the prettiest inks I have ever seen. Um, this one's called, it's by um, Pentel, I think. Oh shoot, but they're called hybrid dual metallics and the, the ink is so pretty. And I'm going to write with this pen, okay? So your first element, the first element of your guide, this is an important part, so we're gonna spend a little time right here. Your guide, look at that, okay guide is write out your alphabet and oh that's another thing we're just going to start with lowercase okay write the alphabet Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's so pretty. Th 
then you're going to take your letters and put like with like. Um, for example, one, two, A has got that O, D has it, G has it. O has it, B, and F, they all have this, and K, and L, they're like samey same, and, you know, we'll do another example, I, and J, and T is just like the I but taller with no dot on it. And U is the I twice. And W is the I a few times. Okay? And the reason why you're doing that is because all the letters are are a few shapes. There are 26 letters. But there are not 26 shapes. There are only like, I don't know, a lot fewer shapes. Maybe nine or so. Um, I didn't write the shapes. Let's see, we've got this shape, this shape, a line, that shape, you know, up. Coming in, going out, we've got the circle shape. Um, I'm trying to pick another shape. There's not a lot. <laughs> a shape like that. There's not a lot of shapes. We'll go through it. Right now, what you're going to do with your guide sheet. So, either make a copy. You can make a copy of your guide sheet where you um, don't copy it with like black, you copy it with grayscale and make it like gray or like a really, really light color so that you can write right over, you know, the letters. Or you can just use your actual guide sheet and tape it to your, your desk and put tracing paper over it or some paper that you can see through and you can trace over it that way. So this is going to have your alphabet on it two times in different ways. And Let's move on to step three. Oh my gosh, I keep doing that. Step three is slow down. When you see uh, YouTube videos and stuff like that, and it looks like they're going kind of fast, most likely it's been sped up. If it looks nice, generally it's done, it's written slowly. So you can slow down too. You're going to, to need to slow down if you want it to come out nice. 
So just take your time. You know, enjoy enjoy the journey. Just, you know, slow down. It's a big step. It's a step all on its own. Just go slow. Okay, step four. Too much space right there. Right daily. You gotta practice every day. Just for 10 minutes a day, that'll do it. At least 10 minutes a day. If you can dedicate a little bit more time to it, that's good too. But you're you're going to want to set aside a little bit of time. So, and once a week for an, for 70 minutes doesn't make up for. 10 minutes on a daily basis so it, if you can I mean I know we're all busy so it's really it can be really difficult to do that so if you miss a day here and there it's okay but the goal is to get a little bit in every day I know sometimes that's just not possible okay and step Number, oh, two, three, oh yeah, step number five. Yeah, this one, this is a big one. So this is consistency. to use these other pens too. <laughs> oh. This is a maybe Todd in here. Oh, uh, this is a maybe Todd I've been using too with the purple. Um, it's Scribble Purple and it's a maybe Todd Blackbird I've been using. And this one here is a maybe Todd. Um, the, the nib came in a dip pen and I put it in a fountain pen. Just a random fountain pen. It's called Avon. So I guess you would call this a Frankenstein pen. And the ink in here is Majestic Blue. So consistency. And what that means is keeping, a, keeping consistent with your spacing in this is difficult. Oh, this is so buttery smooth. This is a challenge for a lot of people. I have a challenge with this. I, I mean, I'm challenged with this. Like, the spacing between letters and the spacing between words like, needs to be consistent. And so, like, right here on mine, there's too much space right there. It's out of place. Um... Let's see, we can find some more. Uh, I don't know, I guess this is a little bit, this D, it's too big. Uh, and plus, why is that capitalized when the second one on other things is not capitalized? So little things like that. So spacing, I mean that wasn't spacing though, but uh, yeah, so in between each word, should have the same amount of space and in between each letter should have the same amount of space this one is pretty looks pretty good it's got the same amount of space you know it's when either they're too close okay so you get it spacing between letters and words and then the size consistency in size 
your letter should be the same size. That's too big. Doesn't fit. Um, yeah, so you don't want. That's not going to look good. And slant, consistency in the slant of your letters. So you don't want. You know, this one's up like this, this one's over there, you know, this one's slightly slanted, this one's kind of swoopy, you know, either you write up like that, or you write like this all the time, or you write, you know, with a slant this way. Or really slanted but you keep it consistent whatever it is and form and this you want to use the same letter every time use the same shape form or shape. You know, if, you know, you've chosen for your key or your guide has a, you know, a P that looks like this, then you don't want to use a P that looks like that or like that. You have to use that one all the time. This is um, the formula for one to get one hand down. Then once you get that down, you can go ahead and do another hand and work on that. And you can have different different hands that you can use. You don't always have to use the same handwriting. Okay, so let's step six is mostly positioning. Um, you you need to like get comfortable not too comfortable you don't want to be in bed but you want your feet on the floor and you want to hold your pen comfortably Okay, your hand and pen. I, I don't know if there's a right way, but it needs to be comfortable for you. That's the right way. I hold mine right here on this finger. You don't want to be crunching up holding it like that. I know that's a wrong way. I mean, that's going to hurt after a while. So you want to hold it you know, lightly. I know you have more control when you give it a little bit more hold, but be mindful of how much hold you're giving it because more hold, there's a threshold. A little bit more hold might give you some more control, but a lot more hold does not give you more control. Okay? So, And that's like a little tiny bit of fold. That's like just the weight of the pen. And that's more. All right. And um, yeah, so I try to hold it as loose as I can. And I remind myself We're because that's tough. Okay. And then your pen out. Aim for our movements. That's another thing. This is kind of goes with this, but our movements. 
So instead of always like just moving your like just going like this, you want to move your arm. If you're moving your arm, you're using all this muscle uh, way up here, you know, on your shoulder. So that's a lot more than this little guy here. That's going to hurt after you... Uh, my hand would probably hurt after writing just this. But I can write a lot if I'm using my whole arm. Okay? So you want to get in the habit of using your whole arm. And there is a way to do that. And that is something that you're going to want to include in your practice. Okay, so you're writing daily. You don't want to be writing daily and just writing for the sake of it. You want to write daily and practice. Like correctly. I mean, if you're doing something wrong every day, that's kind of not going to help too much. So there's a few things you can just start out with. Um, one, there are drills. Okay. So before you even start, just to get that, um, to let your arm know and your shoulder know, hey, I want you to work here. And let your hand know, I want you to just hold the pen. That's your job. Go like this. Make these, these, this is a, an excellent drill to do. And the other practice that I'll give you if you're doing this before we, um, or if this is the only episode you watch, um, another drill to do is to do the shapes. Okay, get, practice your shapes first. Okay, and then practice your letters. Because the letters are just, you know, the shapes over and over again. So you practice your shapes. I hope I'm not losing people. Shapes. And then three, go ahead and use that. You, you know, you're going to use that copy sheet. Copy over your letters. You can't go wrong with that. Okay. that's a safe a safe bet okay all right and that about covers that for now okay oh wait there's one more thing about your positioning your pa your paper so your paper I mean I'm sitting like this right now like this is forward forward for me so my paper, if it was right, look at that color. Isn't that the prettiest? That's the prettiest color. I wish that came in a fountain pen ink. Right? I just love it. Okay. So this would be um, straight on for me. And I can't write. This is really... I would write like this. Because my hand is over here. Actually, this is... <laughs> 
so in order for me to get in order for me to get comfortable I need to turn it all the way over like this there so position your paper All right, now that's about it for now. <laughs> um, thank you for joining. I hope this helps. And this isn't going to be the final episode. I'm going to make some more and we're going to dive deep into these steps. 